Hey guys, Laura Parrish here, your hashtag TNS Mastermind. It is Saturday, the 15th of March, 2014, and I'm just coming outside my house here. I want to uh, do a video for you guys. I normally say quick video, but I know myself, and uh, normally the videos I do aren't quick. Um, but it's a video I wanted to do um, about a week ago, but I've been really sick between having the stomach bug and then having the head sinus cold and all that good stuff. Um, I've kind of been uh, under the weather and, and bedridden, but I wanted to do this video about something that originally just started as a cool exercise thing to do. And then after it was finished, I thought to myself, what a perfect example um, about what we talk about in this business in as far as success goes. And so that's really what this video is about. So for those of you who follow me, you know that I started a planking challenge um, just over a month ago. It's been about a month and a week ago that I started it. And I want to talk about how many people did it, how many people committed to doing it, and how many people actually did it, right? So I have my little book here. So if you see me looking down, it's because I'm, I'm looking at my, my notes here, right? So I, I looked at the statistics, and I announced that I was going to do this planking challenge on February 9th. And 69 people said, I'm in, I'm going to do it, right? And then I started it February 10th, and I posted every day, um, you know, for a roll call for everyone to say, I'm here, and I did it. And I didn't post a couple days because those were days of rest, right? Um, but I took statistics of how many people commented every day that they did it. Well, day one, 30 people said, I'm here, and I did it. Day two, 37. Day three, 25 day 4, 16, day 5, 17, day 6, 14, um, and then it starts to go down to 7, 6, goes back to 8, then it goes to 2, um, 7, 9, 11, 8. Anyway, you get the picture of what I'm saying. So the end all say all of it is, is that at the end of the 30 day planking challenge, I had three people, three that completed it. And of those three people, I was one of them. Okay, um, so first, before I go any further, I want to give shouts out, right? I want to give a shout out to Denise Lee Hillis, Derwin E. Samuel Sr., Sandy Schmidt, Jennifer Villavong, and Gay Lee Kuhn, okay? Because those people actually consistently tried to keep up with it and do it and complete it, you know, when they could. Um, but I consistently saw those names posting um, here and completed on the planking challenge. Now, Der Derwin E. Samuel Sr. is the one of the three people that actually completed it with me. It was me, him, um, and one other person that didn't actually, the person who did complete it didn't actually start it from beginning to end. Um, they came in towards halfway. So really only two people completed it from beginning to end. And I was one of them. Derwin was the other. So my point here is this. You know, people say to us all the time, well, only 1% are at the top, you know, when it comes to business, whether it's working at home or whether it's, you know, a, a corporate J-O-B type of thing, that only, you know, there's only room for a certain few people at the top, or we always see the same people at the top, right? And, and the, the, the particular business that I'm in, that, I, that I'm an affiliate for in Power Network, and I'll go ahead and put the income disclaimer out there because I don't know if I'm going to talk about money, but, you know, I don't want to forget later on in case I do. To see the average earnings of an Empower uh, Network affiliate, go to www.empowernetwork.com forward slash income dot php. All right? But the thing is, people say, well, I always see the same people at the top. I see Tracy Walker. I see Lawrence Tam. I see Tony Rush. I see Vic Stritzhaus. I see Nicole. I see Laura. I see all these people, right? Justin Beringi, Dee Beringi. I see all these people, um, but it's the same people. No one can do what they do. They have a list, or they have this, or they have that. And you know what? That's just not true. Um, and, and I kind of wanted to talk about the planking challenge in, in the format of this because it's proof, you know. Um, it's like people who buy a membership to a gym and then they, they, they're all gung-ho or set New Year's resolutions. They're all gung-ho. They're going to do this. It's all talk, you know. I'm going to do this. I'm going to change my life. I'm going to work out every day. You know, I, I'm going to get fit. You know, this planking challenge. I, I commit to doing this. 69 people committed to doing this planking challenge. But two completed it from finished from beginning to finish, right? And it's the same way. It's the same way in business, right? So let me ask you this. If you can't commit to a planking challenge, which, you know, starts out with, you know, like 30 seconds is the first day or whatever it was. I can't remember. You know, so on and so forth. For 30 days, 
commit to 30 seconds of your time a day, right? Now, I understand people have health issues and things like that, and the doctor says, don't do it, you know. But then when that time is up, you get back on, right? And you keep going, and you make up for what you missed. But if you can't commit to 30 seconds out of your day or 60 seconds out of your day to do a planking challenge, to, to do something that's going to benefit you in your life, how do you think that you're going to make top 1% of a company? right? And, you know, don't quote me because I don't know the statistics, but I'm willing to venture that um, 10% maybe of this entire world controls 90% of the wealth because only 10% are willing to do more than talk. Only 10% are willing to actually take action to do what they want, to have what they want, to change their lives. So it baffles me and befuddles me that so many people say, well, you know, empower networks to scam, or this doesn't work, or there's no there's no such thing, you know, as, as staying at home and working and being successful, or, or anything like that, because, you know, it's just not true. The truth is, is if you want to be part of the people who are at the top, if you want to be successful, if you want, you know, to have good health, if you want to have all these things, you can, but you have to do more than talk. You have to show up. And if you can't show up for a 30 second planking challenge, you know, or 60 seconds, I think at the, at the end of it, at the end of the planking challenge, the last day you were supposed to hold it as long as you could. And I actually did seven minutes and seven seconds, which is like 427 seconds. And I was sick, you know, so I, I, I think I might have been able to do a little bit better. But if you can't, if you can't commit to taking action in your life or in your business every day, then how can you expect? that you're gonna be at the top with Lawrence Tam and Vic Stritz House and Tony Rush. How can you expect that? You know, this is about more than talking. This is about action. And we talk about it all the time. So that's why I wanted to shoot this video because it's proof, just like this planking challenge is proof. Proof is in the pudding. You know what I'm saying? If you're not willing to suit up and show up, you're not going to be successful. If you need someone to stand over your shoulder and say, this is what you do today and, and this is how you do it, then you need a job, okay? But if you are willing to live the way you want and have the things you want and do the things that you want in your life, then you have to take control over your actions. You have to, you know, put yourself out there and decide that you're going to change your life. And, and that means being responsible for your actions and, and suiting up and showing up, not having to have someone to tell you, you need to do your planking challenge today. You need to, you know, do income producing activities today in your business. You need to, you know, market today. You need to read today. You need to listen to audios today. You have to take initiative. You have to take action. You have to show up in your business, right? And there's a quote, and it used to be I used to have the quote on my on my, as my cover uh, on my Facebook, but it's it, it's by James Mishner and it says the master in the art of living makes little distinction between his work and his play, his labor and his leisure, his mind and his body, his information and his recreation, his love and his religion. He hardly knows which is which. He simply pursues his vision of excellence at whatever he does, leaving others to decide whether he is working or playing because to him, he's always doing both. And, and I love that and that's that I, I so fit in line with that in the way I feel about what I do because to me, w the way I live in my business is one and the same. You know what I mean? It goes hand in hand. When I'm having, you know, a great day with my kids or I have a blessing, I want to get in front of the computer, pick up my phone like I'm on right now and shoot a video. Um, it's not that I say, you know, oh, I got to think about business. I need to do this today. It's just part of who I am and what I do because I believe in it. And I believe in it because it works. And the reason it works is not because I sit on my, you know, derriere and don't do anything. It works because I decided to make it work in my life. I decided to not just be the person who talks, but to be the person who steps up. I decided not to say, hey, I want to be in the top 1%. I decided I'm going to be in the top 1%. And that, that requires action, not talking. All these people talk, 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 talk. Stop talking, right? Because proof is in the pudding. When you take action, your actions will produce results. 
and your results will put you in the top 1%. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's people in this world, you know, thank goodness, thank goodness that Thomas Edison wasn't just a talker. Thank goodness that Albert Einstein wasn't just a talker. Thank goodness that Amelia Earhart wasn't just a talker. Thank goodness that Martin Luther King wasn't just a talker. Thank goodness that Steve Jobs wasn't just a talker. And these people aren't people who were handed silver spoons and money and all this stuff and people say, well, they just had it good in life or they, they had an inheritance or whatever. These people made a decision to take action, right? Not just to talk and say, hey, I want to do this. Hey, I want to do that. Hey, I want to be wealthy. Hey, I want to live the way I want to live. Hey, I want to travel the world. Hey, I want to invent the light bulb. Hey, I want to change, you know, the way this country lives. I want to create a civil rights movement. These people actually did what they said they wanted to do. So you've got to understand it's about taking action. And I really just wanted to shoot this video. Of course, it's a lot longer than I said it was going to be. But because I wanted to show you, okay, I wanted to show you, and I thought there was nothing better than the planking challenge that I did to prove it, because so many people say I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that, but how many people actually do it? So the next time you have the I idea or thought to say, well, you know, only those people, or that would never happen to me, guess what? You're doing that to yourself. It's not only those people. You can be a part of those people, right? You have to choose to be a part of those people. Stop looking at those people as different than who you are. Start looking at yourself as the same as the people who take action. And then start taking action, and guess what? You'll be top 1%. Thanks, guys, for listening. I really appreciate you. I hope you have a great day. I don't know who sent you this video, but I'm sure whoever does is going to put their link below it. So make sure you click their link below this video and get started changing your life today because that's what they did. That's what I've done. And I know I said something about income, and I just crossed $190,000 inside the Empower Network in less than two years. Why? Because I decided to take action not talk about taking action, but physically take action. And you can too. So whoever sent you this video, click the link below. Get started with them and start changing your life today. Stop talking and start working. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.